evaluating an expression with a negative exponent and a negative integer base. So here's our negative integer base and it is being raised to a negative exponent. In an earlier video we said that you could get rid of the negative exponent by flipping what is inside and although our inside is not a fraction we could still write it as a fraction by just making it negative 9 over 1. So then to get rid of our negative exponent and turn it into a positive exponent, making it a positive 2, we can just flip that fraction and make it 1 over negative 9. The advantage is now we no longer have a negative exponent, we have a positive exponent. And a positive exponent like squared, we know what to do with that. It means we take the base and multiply it by itself. So this would be 1 over negative 9 times 1 over negative 9. Multiplying it with itself, I've written the base two times because my exponent was 2. And now, since I've got fractions being multiplied, I can multiply across the top. 1 times 1 is 1. And I can multiply across the bottom, negative 9 times negative 9. Uh, the 9 times the 9 gives me an 81, but when I multiply two negatives, I do get a positive. So that would give me a positive 81. So evaluating our original expression, I now have 1 over 81. I got rid of the negative exponent by flipping the fraction, and I had to put that 1 in at the bottom in order to turn it into a fraction. But then getting rid of the positive exponent was just a matter of multiplying the base with itself.